Do you know what's been increasing in IITs, IIMs, IISCs and IITs? It's the number of people who've attempted suicides and who have actually taken their lives. And this is something that nobody's really talking about. People are just trying to cover it up. And what most people don't realize is that there's a lot of mental trauma and a lot of turmoil that a lot of students go through. And there's not enough mental health and support given to them. Today we have Aditya with us, who is a PhD student from ISE. We had a completely fun, unfiltered conversation with him. Do you like get laid a lot? <laughs> we talked a lot about mental health of students. We talked about why these kind of incidents are happening in the first place. And we talked about AI as well. Since he's a PhD student working in AI safety, I thought he was the best person to answer a lot of the questions we have regarding AI. So make sure to watch it till the very end and make sure to subscribe to the channel as well because I'm sure you will get to learn something valuable from this conversation. And if you're someone who's in 11th and 12th who's preparing for competitive exams like GE or BITSAT or anything like that, then we have an exclusive community for you where you'll be guided by people who've actually aced these exams, who've done really well in the past years, who will be mentoring you and guiding you and helping you out in the way forward. I hope you guys enjoy this conversation and get to learn from it. And I'll see you guys until the next video. Bye-bye. I see some very weird cool stuff over here. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Bruh. So, I think this is like, we're asking why do you do anything at all in life, right? Okay. The question is what motivates you. Okay. And what motivates me is making sure that AI systems remain interpretable, you know? Okay. So, the idea is you take these black boxes yeah. and you kind of reverse engineer the algorithm that is going on inside them. Okay. So, I'm really passionate about that. Damn. So, do you like get laid a lot? Do you talk about these guys? I do not get laid a lot. I'm actually quite, on the contrary, I would like, I like girls, but... <laughs> <laughs> I am busy with work, you know, work okay. takes up most of my time. There's a thing that, you know, AI engineers get paid a lot. Like, so do you, do you went to some different Georgia and different countries and stuff? Yeah. Did you, how was your experience like? So I think uh, it's beautiful country, Georgia. Like, mm. yeah, if you want to go hiking, the mm. mountains there are beautiful. The people are very welcoming and very mm. friendly. The food is tasty. Okay. I highly recommend any kind of you go to Georgia. I've gone to UK. I like... Uh, I'm going to Blackpool, Manchester, okay. Cambridge. If you like bookstores, okay. I would rec recommend you go to Oxford okay. and walk around in those streets. Nice. Wait. How did you get in the field of AI? Suppose if somebody is interested in AI, how do they actually get started and how do they... Contact, contact? me. My Instagram <laughs> handle is in below. the description, yes. <laughs> Slide into my DMs. <laughs> So this, I will keep you healthy out. It's this just, just going to be like guys. <laughs> guys like, and girls. Like, yeah, uh, I mean, yeah, guys uh, and girls for sure. Like, no, but then like, if somebody wants to like, get started in the field of AI, like, what, how, what is the first so step? Andrej Karpati has yeah. a playlist okay. called From Zero to Hero. Yeah. I would highly recommend you guys check his playlist out. Okay. It's like a few hours each video. Mm. It teaches okay. everything from how transformers work, mm. editing heads, neural networks mm. and he even builds a GPT-2 from scratch. Ah, yeah. He talks about tokenizers and mm. it's beautiful and I highly mm. recommend his content. Okay, maybe that's a good way to start. Yeah. But then if somebody wants to be like a researcher like you. you know, like, so I would say get started with projects. So okay. I have this website called devinterp.com. Mm. You can kind of go there and there are open problems there. Mm. You can kind of pick a problem and start. There's a Google Collab notebook. So okay. you can kind of get the code. Okay. To make changes and start pushing code to GitHub. Okay. Build a build a profile of uh, you basically need to show that you can do work okay so do projects okay replicate Excellent. existing work make your own work if you want ideas mm -hmm. i can give you ideas yeah and just show do learn by doing things you know Makes not just sense. reading crazy man i think people should follow that and people should actually contribute and then AI safety needs more researchers all the smart people are going into capabilities research okay. looking for these big companies making okay. them addicted to instagram reels and uh, things like this <laughs> So, <laughs> what we need this, is people this. like you working on the safety side. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think the, uh, uh, Ilya Sutskever, he started this su Safe Safe Super Super Intelligence. They raised one billion recently. Yeah, yeah, correct. The space is really growing really fast. Mm. There are grant opportunities. The government of UK has allocated billions of millions of dollars. Yeah. So, there's a lot of sp 
opportunities here for smart kids yeah to go work we're planning a hackathon next month cool. so if people are interested we'll be having a hackathon soon definitely I'll put out the details in my definitely Instagram, IG, Instagram, yeah, IG. Yeah, yeah works works thank you see other people are dying in IAC people uh, they're saying that they are going to remove the fans and stuff you still have a fan in your bedroom What, what's I up with that I keep my door locked I don't want them coming in and stealing my fan okay I don't think it's cool at all like you're removing fans like if if some people is feeling suicidal you got to take care of mental health man not yeah. take away the <laughs> fans like that's a solution to this problem <laughs> i am the one the one your son right like this is, <laughs> this is insane what they're doing in isc <laughs> removing fans is actually happening so yeah so i you told me that people are being depressed and people are very sad what's up with that why are why, why is this happening so i think people in academia often are used to solving close ended problems like assignments okay. exams Correct. curriculum yeah when you go in from masters and bachelors towards phd mm-hmm. now you're working on open problems yeah. you don't have clear cut guidelines yeah. on what to solve yeah. so this kind of fucks with your mind right okay. because you don't know what are you making progress okay. months just passed by and you're not done anything okay. it's very open ended so that can be very draining on you because you feel pressure to okay. get a job make finances meet and everything damn because of that like because of not knowing what to do with their life i more. i think it's like some sort of uncertainties there the, yeah, yeah, the uncertainty yeah. need you of like when you're working for a car career like yeah. you guys you yeah. guys have like clear deadlines your boss you yeah. know exactly what you're doing correct but correct. when you're working in a phd position like your your advisor and you are you're the master you're the edge of the yeah, yeah. knowledge right so you're like pushing the boundaries of human knowledge outward correct damn that sounds cool we are like umpa loopers of science so. yeah that, that makes fun sense <laughs> crazy man i hope people stop suiciding and i hope they stop taking away fans i mean yeah this is this is like this taking cool. away <laughs> knives and expecting people to suddenly feel better you still want to kill yourself right not helping the lack of fans doesn't mean we can't be creative yeah <laughs> we can we, we can jump off the building you can do a lot of other a lot things. of other things can happen like so drink poison and <laughs> other cool stuff yeah crazy stuff. humor is a way that we cope right like yes. we laugh at it because we yes. we're powerless yes but uh, you told me about you building a company like what's your company about <laughs> So uh, I I can put links to live yeah. theory in the yeah. bottom so the idea is that it's it's called live uh, interfaces uh-huh. so we, we're basically trying to uh, create apps where we can enhance conversations so okay. if, if I'm talking to you right now what are insights that are being produced in this conversation i want to be able to record them okay. but there's an issue that we only have two options either record a conversation or don't record it at all so it's okay. like binary okay. but i want to give fine grain control to the user uh-huh. to be able to highlight aspects of the conversation which is private okay so the idea is we have diarization which encrypts my voice and my content for myself okay. and your content for yourself okay. and my ai assistant will basically redact parts uh, of the conversation that are sensitive based mm-hmm. on my informal commands to it so it allows me to export these conversations into a publication like a okay. blog post huh. automatically so Got i don't it. need to worry about pacing or examples because i can basically make a custom version of this conversation for each consumer oh. so the idea is like production and consumption becomes like mm. more closer to together hmm makes sense makes sense yeah. cool stuff i not understand a lot yeah. but i think you're doing something cool you guys apply to yc and stuff <laughs> yeah we hope to get into yc fall batch nice and uh, the i mean maybe a better example would be like the 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 gutenberg press when okay you, when you make books yeah you, before you used to decide what the font was okay before you publish the book okay and to scale things you needed to decide and preform these things correct but now we can allow for just in time compilation just oh. in time production so hmm. when you're reading a book on a kindle you can decide what font you want to read it in right okay yeah so it's like you can your your optionality here yes the so same way you can now change the pacing you can change examples you can custom make oh. the things when you're consuming content you don't need to produce a certain blog post a certain textbook okay. which is scaled by making it fixed okay. you can kind of allow for fluidity and adaptation okay. even when consuming content okay. so that's kind of what we're trying to aim for makes sense makes sense pretty cool what opportunities open up when you have intelligence at scale think of that internet opened up remote work correct what happens when you have cheap fast high bandwidth internet available for everyone there are new opportunities available now which yes. we can now take correct up. correct oh cool sir yeah uh, i hope you become like a billionaire and you employ other iic students so that they don't suicide or maybe people like you guys also oh uh, yeah employ <laughs> employ us also yes we are trying to if you want to switch jobs <laughs> <laughs> yes bro is opening up a new company we'll see you nice. there man good stuff great guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you got to learn one important thing from the video just one important thing 
put it down in the comment section below because whoever is reading the comments they will also get to learn what you have learned and thus making the world a better place and giving you a lot of visibility as well and I hope you guys enjoyed the video I will see you until the next one bye bye